People with an injury below the T12 level usually enter their bowels more frequently, often several times per day using digital stimulation and manual removal. The goal of your bowel program is firm form stool that can be passed manually with ease and doesn't pass accidentally between bowel care routines. Not everyone with a flaccid bowel uses suppositories as these can cause a lot of mucus. Some people will need to take stool softeners or gentle laxatives every day or every other day depending on your personal needs. Every morning after every meal and before you go to bed, check to see if any stool has moved into the rectum and needs to be removed. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to bowel care for someone with a flaccid bowel. Step one, set up. Begin by getting in position, which may mean transferring to a commode chair or toilet. Make sure you're in a comfortable upright position with your feet placed on the floor or on the footrest of your chair. When you sit upright, gravity helps to empty your bowel. If you need to do your bowel care in bed, you should lie on your left side. Wash your hands thoroughly. If your attendant performs your bowel care, make sure they wash their hands thoroughly. Be careful about fingernails. You may need to empty your bladder or move your drainage equipment. Step two, emptying. You may use a combination of techniques to empty your bowel, including digital stimulation, manual emptying, bearing down, and changing your position. Use digital stimulation with a gloved, well-lubricated finger to start the bowel movement. To keep stool coming, repeat digital rectal stimulation every five to 10 minutes as needed until all the stool has passed. For more information on how to do digital stimulation, click on the link. You can empty your bowel manually by using one or two gloved and well-lubricated fingers to break up stool, hook it, and gently pull it out. You can also bring down stool by breathing in and bearing down. This is sometimes called a balsava technique or maneuver, and it can help you increase pressure in the colon to push stool out. Breathe in, then block the air with your throat and increase the pressure in your belly. If possible, try to contract your abdominal muscles as well. Repeat for 30 seconds at a time to help with manual emptying. If you have good torso stability, you can try lifting yourself or doing forward and sideways bending while you bear down. This can help change the position of the colon, making it easier to empty stool. Step three, finish. Make sure the rectum is empty by doing a final check with a gloved and well lubricated finger. If you find stool, continue with your manual emptying and repeat, if necessary, the techniques in step two. When you are confident that all stool has passed, wash and dry the area around your anus.